Welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Plus Sashe, and today we are going to be cooking crab cakes. This is my first time making crab cakes, so just bear with me. And I'm about to show you all the ingredients that I use in this video. And then we're going to get started. And thank you for watching this video. Everyone have a blessed day. Love you. The ingredients that I'm going to be using is some fresh minced garlic. Here I have some frozen bell peppers, but I let them thaw out and I cut uh, cut them off. And I actually took a paper towel and soaked up all the water out of them. You need some Ritz crackers or whatever crackers you prefer. Here's some real crawl meat crab. I took a few pieces off the top because I had to taste it. Um, I'm going to be using this kind of mayo because I have miracle whip and i don't know if it will change the sweetness of it so i just decided to go with that one it does have lemon in it but i do have a lime to squeeze it in there obey garlic powder onion powder i don't have any dijon mustard or anything like that so i'm going to put a little bit of this boom boom shrimp sauce here because i'm like they're both seafood so let's get started oh and i have some butter too I don't know if I'm gonna melt a little bit of butter inside the crab cake, but I'm definitely gonna saute the crab cake inside the butter. Just stay tuned. So I'm gonna add my garlic and bell peppers into this bowl. Yeah, I think I probably used like four things of garlic because I really do like garlic. Oh, my bad. We're just gonna dump this out. Look at all that fresh crab meat right there. We're gonna use one of these spatula things right here, or what do you wanna call it? And we're gonna gently just break it apart because we still want some of those lump crabs in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of garlic powder, just a little bit because I still wanna be able to taste the crab. That should be enough onion powder we're gonna take some obey y'all this is a fresh bottle name like you want to come out okay I think that's good enough I'm going to cut my lime. And if you roll, and if you roll your lime like this or any citrus thing, you will increase the juices of you will increase you will increase the flow of the juices. I learned it on the food nick words. Now tell me that lemon don't look juicy. So I'm gonna hold this one this way so I don't squeeze any shit. Okay, I take that back. I was trying not to squeeze any seeds in there. Okay. Y'all, if y'all hear that background noise, it is like almost 12 o'clock in the morning and there's little kids outside fucking playing. Okay. Aren't y'all surprised y'all don't hear Jay? He's been going to sleep really early. So, I'm going to open up our rich crackers. I have, uh, let me see. Yeah, I know I like even numbers. So here's four crackers so far. We're just gonna crush them up. That was four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's eight. I think I'm gonna do two more and that's gonna eat 14.
And I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this boom boom sauce in here because I prefer it with shrimp. I've never had it with, ooh, crab. Okay, about that much. And now we're just going to gently fold all of this together. Because like I guess, oh, you guys, why don't you tell me about the freaking mayo? Mmm. Queens, I thought we was better than that. Y'all was gonna make me look like a damn fool. Okay. Uh, let's do about three for right now. Cause I don't want it to be too super um, dense or heavy. I want it to be light and fluffy, just enough to combine all that. Y'all, can you believe this can of crab was only ten dollars? Usually elsewhere, they be trying to have it for like twenty or thirty dollars. Y'all just got to know where to shop at. Y'all, don't that look good already? So try to, you know, fold the crab. Y'all went to Walmart today and I was trying to find some uh, arugula because I was watching Darius Cooks. I don't know if y'all watch him. But I've been watching him a long, long time. Should I do a little bit more mayo? No, I kind of think this is perfect. Yeah, I was watching Darius Cooks. And he had made a sandwich with bacon and arugula and some bread. You know what? Let me see. I feel like I would need a little bit more crackers. Okay, let's go 14 crackers in. But yeah, I was watching Darius Cooks and he had arugula with some bacon, a crab cake on like a little brioche bun type. I went to Walmart today and they don't carry arugula. The guy was kind of surprised that I knew what arugula was. I like to try different new things. Okay, it's looking a little better. And I was like, what? I went back to search all over town for some arugula. But I'm gonna just do a simple crab cake. Um, I have some string beans in the refrigerator. Maybe I'll put it with that. I don't really know. Uh, let's try a little bit of this. Mmm. That's actually pretty good. But let me just add a little bit more old bay. I don't know why I really want this crab cake to be a little spicy. Should we make it spicy? A hint, a hint of flavor? No, I ain't gonna do it. Hopefully I'm doing this right. And some of y'all can make this recipe at home. Okay. So I'm about to form these crab cakes and then I'm gonna put them in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes just so they can um, kind of come together. I don't know how big I should really be making these. I don't know. Let's just go like this. I don't know. They said put it in the freezer for about 20, 30 minutes just to get it to stay. That looks like a mini, or maybe like a double-double of a um, double-double golf ball. Let's just say that.
That looks about right. Yeah, I think I'll probably get about four to six out of here. Depends on how big I make them. I'm not really too much concerned about the size. I'm always about taste and how it looks. You know what, you guys? I think I might get about... No, I'm going to get about five out of these because these are too big. If I was to do six, there's going to be one that was going to be a little too small. I'm pretty sure y'all are going to tell me how y'all make y'all's crab cakes. I would love to hear that and how I could um, improve. But I did talk to one of my queens and she said, girl, that's how you do it. You're on the right track. I said, okay. Because I literally walked in the kitchen the other night. I was like, what the hell am I doing? And there's my fifth one. So I'm going to take these gloves off. Here is... The crab cakes before. Hold on, where's my camera? Y'all gotta get used to this. Oh, it's back here. So, here are my crab cakes. I'm about to put these in the freezer. I came up with five. And I'll see you in about 20, 30 minutes. Hey you guys, so I'm back like an hour later. My bad, I forgot. So, here are the crab cakes fresh out of the freezer okay so we're gonna zoom on in let's turn the fire on to about medium medium low medium high whatever you want to call it I don't know just turn the stove on girl we're gonna put some butter in there so the butter can melt. Y'all, I really wanted to try one of my bouillon cubes. Here's the Cajun. I got this from Grocery Outlet. It was uh, $2. I kind of wanted to saute the butter in this, but we're just going to chill with the obey. Look at that butter melting. Look at that butter melting. Ooh, ooh, switch it around the bowl. Switch it around the pan. All right, let's just take this one since it's already broken. And we're just gonna let that saute until it's golden brown. But y'all see that big chunk of meat right there. Y'all, maybe I should put a little more rich crackers in it since it was a lot of I mean, a lot, a lot of crab, but we're going to do what it do. We're going to do what it do. All right. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. I want to get y'all some ASMR action. I'm gonna put another teaspoon of butter in there because that was just a little piece of butter off the um, my last one. Okay, y'all. So I just flipped it and it's looking brown, but I should have added some more rich crackers so that way it will stick a little bit better. But yeah, so this it's still gonna be good. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna go in the belly anyway. Y'all. So here's crab cake one. I mean, it's still good. You know what? This can go in the lettuce wrap. Look at that nice lump crab right there. Claw meat. I'm going to put one in the air fryer for you. I'm going to taste this. Mmm. 
that Ritz crackers give that little salty saltiness so I can taste the crab. Fresh out the sea. Mmm. That's pretty good. The bell peppers give a nice little touch too. Nice little golden crisp. Y'all know I couldn't leave my air fryer out. So, here is another crab cake and I put some parchment paper in here. I'm just gonna put it into my air fryer. Uh, let me turn it to 400 and I'm gonna give it about uh, let me give it 12 minutes and I'm going to check on it in probably about 6 minutes. Well, we should be approaching 6 minutes to check on it. Remind you, I set it for 12 minutes. Y'all love my air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer, you just look at one. Okay, 6 minutes. It's looking a little golden brown. Y'all look at that piece of crab. Come on. Zoom in. Zoom in. It was just doing it. Did y'all see it or no? Okay. I'm going to put it in there for the remainder of the six minutes and we're going to see what it does. Okay. So I left it in there. What I say, 12 minutes? Okay, so this cooked on 10 minutes. It's got a nice little crust on it. But y'all get this. I melted a little butter. Let's see if I can go with some slow-mo action for y'all real quick and I'll come back. Okay, that was a little slow motion action that y'all just gave y'all. I just put some melted butter and squeezed a little lime on there. Y'all look at that. Succulent, beautiful. Look at that fresh crab in there. Mmm. That's exactly what it needed. Some more lime. It was gonna be Gucci. Look at that crab meat. Mm. That's good. All right, y'all. Let me know if y'all make this. See, that's why I said I could use a little bit more um, crackers. That's bomb. That's the little smoke coming off there. That's good. Let me know if y'all make too. Hope I can get a picture because I can tore it apart. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm.